why I beat him is because I played E Strike, things like that. Try, tried to really disrupt his combo, and I saw and I made him use three archived memories. And I know that the combo needs one archive memories at least. And he used dedication ceremonies and he used all his pieces. And he went down to one card in R&D before the, the turn I won. Ooh, but whoa, really? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yes. But because I knew the combo, because I knew that, because I knew that you need the archive memories. As soon as he played the third archive memories, I knew I was safe for a long time. Do you rebirth into Kim? I rebirth into Omar. Just for Exorcist? Yes. Doesn't have a lot of ice in that deck, right? Maybe nine ice. Nine ice, yeah. And I, I played horrendously against against <laughs> it in, in the Swiss. I I think I face checked Architect maybe four to five times during the deck. What are they reinstalling? The Things that you trashed, or are they just going for advanced assemblies value? Rashidas, everything, yeah, you anything. know. If you're just tuning in, welcome. This is the Montreal Regionals 2018. This is the losers finals. I both of these players have won, lost one match so mm -hmm. far uh, in the top eight uh, double elimination. Whoever wins this matchup gets the chance at the finals, and where they have to do an upset, they have to win two games in a row against Julian Deville. On the left, we have Roberto, a Montreal favorite. We're all rooting from here. We yeah, want Montreal to correct. take this one. Home. On the right, Peter Hernandez. I don't know much about Peter. Me neither. Uh, playing a Valencia. Good player. Very strong player. Uh, playing against Argus. I think this matchup was actually... This wasn't random. Yeah, I'll pull it down once they, we start playing. Um, this the, matchup the, was decided by... Yes, the, this matchup was already played first round of the uh, of the cut. Uh, Roberto chose to play Argus Securities uh, against Peter's Valencia. Uh, now it is. It, it was random this time, or I don't know if it was random or if it was decided by the, the, the FFG rules, but first round was chosen by Roberto, so this is a, a matchup he's familiar with. Uh, he knows he can win it because he won against Peter at that time. So Peter's deck is its generally the competitive standard Val decks are all similar. You can guess a backbone of about 35 cards. He is, he is on indexing. Yep. He, he has two turntables, though, and plays Divine wow. Conquer, which is something that a lot of players do not do. He's on turning wheel too, a single turning wheel, I think. That's correct. Turning wheel, divide and conquer. Plays it very aggressively too. Yes. He will go for singles if he needs to, just get those axes in. Mm -hmm. I think this would be a mole for me on Peter's hand. There uh, is some. What have you seen in there? Uh, I think I see Namaqua, Daily Cast, Ice Carver. Uh, it looks okay, but. Yeah, that Ice Carver is not going to do enough fast yeah. enough, and you want the credits. You want to exactly. make sure that you don't get. I would like more econ. Yeah. More burst econ. Econ Either, and breakers. Yeah. That's all you need. You don't need the multi axis exactly. right away. Yeah. Actually, I, Roberto's hand is actually not that great. I, I think it's a surveyor. Hand, but no economy, no hard enemies, no economic warfare. It's just food. Oh, actually, no, there's a gamble. Fund. Or sorry, a hedge fund, yeah. yeah. There's food, and I think a, a surveyor, maybe an archer. If he top decks a hostile early in the game, that might actually be a keepable hand. Uh, yeah. But it looks like he's decided to keep, considering Peter's already taken a mulligan. Against these kinds of decks, I think the key to win against that arc right now is to really try to rush an atlas. So basically, on, on my part, Every every hand that uh, unless unless it has like a bunch of agendas, uh, any hand that does not have Atlas is throw that back. I mean, not really, not automatically, but is a really really it's a big question. Do you keep a hand without agendas against Anarch? I don't think you do. That's the thing. I think Roberto might have one fast track in his deck, which I guess you could consider yeah. keeping, but you need to jam in there as soon as possible before that Clan Vengeance disruption up. Yeah. And that's a hostile in hand, which he might that's just good. You throw have to score this. One. Yeah. one point on the table. That's another bad puffer for Valencia, so but that gives you that archer for fuel. Exactly. So I, I would believe... That's, that's a play indexing turn one. Yes. Now, not only can this make Peter steal agendas, but this lets him reorganize the top cards of the deck so he can ensure that he's not drawing the ice, not I, drawing the agendas. I can see an hostile take over, I think. I think they take just that. put on on the top. And he's burying a hard hitting news there at the bottom, it looks yes. like. So that might only be one point. You want to find an Atlas there. Atlas is your best bet. And strike. Yes, okay. Let's him run R&D to get a single, not take the tag, not take any damage, just an Atlas. Could have gone a lot worse. Mm -hmm. And you want to get that indexing in before the Atlas counters are up, because at some yes. point in the mid game, that's a useless card. And he spent three influence on that. So this is a good time to indexing. Employee strike, obviously, pretty strong. I think here, oh, if did you see his hand, his hand is double indexing rebirth, double indexing rebirth. Mm, that's what he's only doing. Another strong. indexing. So Roberto might think R and D is safe for the next three cards are known, mm -hmm. but even if he waits another turn, now, that's an interesting decision point here. There is a Brian Stinson and a hedge fund in Roberto's hand, but he also has an archer and a GFI. 
You see, I think on my part, yeah, I think he's going for it. But on my part, I think I would have, I might have wanted to go. I don't think he has anything to jam, though. No, but I might have. I mean, he, he can wait a turn, which is fine. Um, but I believe the next step in the game plan is Archer and GFI. Yeah, as soon as possible. Exactly. Uh, I don't know, is Dean's list on Maxwell James? That's generally the big scare yes. here. So you have to protect the HQ at least a bit, unless yeah. you want to rush. But Dean hasn't been drawing. Or Peter, sorry, hasn't been drawing. So he hasn't seen. Uh, it's unlikely he has a Maxwell. Exactly. Maxwell James letting him play that hedge fund, remove it from the game. That's just nine credits for a click. You're paying two for Bryant. But, but that's probably all the money he'll need yeah, for big, a long time. big swing turns. So now, now Roberto doesn't know it, but and hardening news is coming. Mm -hmm. I believe what what Peter will do is hit the indexing probably next turn or the turn after to bury down the hardening news even lower. Just get further. I, be further. I believe that is what he's going to be doing. So it looks like he's setting up. He doesn't have to respect the Brian anymore, considering exactly. that's the only transaction he's seen, mm -hmm. and he's seen the next five. There's a chance he could even consulting visit into like an IPO if he's playing it, mm. just to play it again. But I think he wants that combo I think that card. Would be, yeah, I think that would be over. You see, he just drew. Oh yeah, the already news. news. So, so now running is going to be very difficult, and yeah. he knows as soon as he gets an agenda. What he doesn't know though is Peter does have that second indexing in hand. Mm -hmm. Two credits coming on cast. Two bad pub. I think we have access to one breaker so far, the MK Ultra, which yes. does get through Archer, admittedly for a lot of money, but... 12 credits. 12 credits is a lot of credits, and now we do have Zero coming out with the Clan Vengeance ready. It looks like the Disruption yes. Engine is coming down. So that is a key part of, of the deck, obviously. Everyone knows this part, but against, against these decks, these Argus, these Outfit decks specifically, the Clan Vengeance is very strong because the whole game plan of rushing and forcing the runner into tough spots relies on hard hitting news, econ warfare, and high profile targets. So if you can take care of those cards, if you can be sure that the core does not have those cards in their hand with Clan Vengeance, then the, their plays that rely on you taking a bad turn to steal an agenda don't have the same threat behind it. It looks like we got a rebirth there into Edward Kim. Losing the yeah. inject on the top, never happy about that. The indexing. Oh, the indexing, yes. sorry. Did you see what he jammed into that remote server? Because he broke the indexing lock. Those are new cards he's saying. That could be the Atlas. That's exactly what he needs. If it is an Atlas, out. it is very strong, but I'm not sure it's an Atlas. Edward Kim, mind you. Um, yes. That, you don't see that often rebirths, generally in certain matchups. It seems like the right one. It is, it is the right one because from the way Roberto is playing, Omar might not be as good. Yeah, right? if he's not icing his centrals that heavily, you don't need to get that much value. But he did draw a couple of surveyors and install another ice on the remote, which is fairly strong. He's got a consulting visit. Yeah, and I think uh, Peter knows that consulting visit's mm -hmm. a hand too, so he has to respect. Even sometimes the right play is consulting visit into economic warfare, because the most important thing is to make sure they can't clear the tags, exactly, yeah. as opposed to having more Even though like them. it is value neutral, yeah. and he, it looks like it's a global food in the remote server. Losing the divide and conquer. Yeah, no more global foods in Roberto's hand, so it's, it has to be. And the turntable's come cheating. down, and that turntable makes that global food score actually pretty bad. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of one point. There's actually only one more one point agendas, but yeah. there's two pointers in there, and you don't want that swing. That being said, Roberto might have audacity in hand. He does. He does have audacity. If he does top deck that. If he top decks the. the excuse me. The Atlas? The Atlas, that's a good game. No. Yeah, he's on four points. Exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Counting to seven. Huh? <laughs> All right. So, so four is also kind of awkward. It means he's going to have to score two agendas or mm -hmm. uh, the last global food or yeah. the second. And the thing about Audacity is that if he finds an Atlas, he's not going to really want to use Audacity because then he doesn't get a counter. Uh, and That's then true. He, will, he would rely on... You know, trying to find a hostile takeover. Oh, so yes. there's not. He can do it. And there's a chance he might actually want to do that before the counter surveillance comes in or the clan I vengeance. Th I comes think in what you want to do here is yes, you're right. The Atlas counters aren't that great with clan vengeance. No, they're not. So and he doesn't even need the counter because two indexings are out. I don't know if there's any recursion from Peter's side. No. But he could consider just jamming that audacity out. No cards in hand. Does lower the value of the clan vengeance. But then he's going to struggle to win. He needs a top deck and agenda. Yeah. And as soon as he starts drawing hard... The clan vengeance is going to yeah, hit. Yeah. Those, those Molotovs are coming in. 
So he's he's thinking. You can tell he's thinking. He's thinking a lot about it here. I think he's also thinking if Peter can get in the remote. Yeah. Because if you can force Peter to use a three clan vengeance and send, instead of, you know, trashing your whole hand. Yeah. And this also can give Peter a read here. If he's struggling, it's pretty obvious that he drew an agenda, if not a fast yes. track. And that might be a time that Peter could just say, you know what, I'm tired of waiting. Let's let's, let's attack. That's the thing, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of these cards in hand, and that's the thing, is if Roberto jams the agenda, generally you're going to count on economic warfare into hard-hitting news as, mm -hmm. like, the counterplay or as the riposte, but you can't count on that with the vengeance. Well, you can't count on that, but I think if you install here, it's going to take... Yeah, I think you just... I think I would just install. Just Not install? even... Yeah, exactly. That's what I would do. Rashida coming down single advance. Oh, I, I wouldn't even advance it, to be honest with you. Yeah. He the knows. counter doesn't matter, right? The counter doesn't matter because he can still audacity it. Divide and conquer. It looks like he's letting the remote go. That's going to be... That's it's three counters from Aqua, which is... Yeah, that's a huge that's the, deal. That's the big part. Oh, right. Divide and conquer. Audacity in the hand. That so, gets trashed. Exactly. That's huge. Yeah. Can you talk about that, uh, how that works? Divide and conquer. And okay, so divide and conquer gives you three access steps. You ac access archives, you access HQ, and you access R&D. Because of Aqua, if you do three access steps without trashing anything, obviously here Peter trashed Audacity with Edward Kim. Yeah, but, not a choice. Uh, it does give you a counter for each access step. So if you don't trash anything, that is three counters in one, just one click for your Almaqua. Very good to surprise players. And I think maybe with an Amaqua and just an MK Ultra, if the, I guess he needs four counters on that, but you and can contest the Peter remote. trashed Rashida off the top. Of R&D, that's where yes. that came from. So only one counter. And he's, so like, see, he's firing another Rashida. Yeah. Which and now, now here, I believe here, Peter is thinking right. about using it. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a paidability window. It is, because oh, it's yes. before started turning. Yes. Right. So he's going to wipe his hand before Rashida fires, so he knows he's going to draw three cards and then be stranded in there. Still three cards, three That's credits. pretty good. And he has the Alice token now, which is super safe. Yeah, and now the Alice token is going to be very valuable, because if he just... Actually, if he scores Atlas, he wins next turn. He does win next turn, unless it's stopped. And he actually He's has a hostile hand. He's got a bunch of agendas. He has a hostile hand. He might not win next turn. Yeah, I think you want to score hostile right here. Do you, you don't want it, you yeah, don't want you it to get Atlas. stolen. You can't get that stolen because you, you have the turntable. You exactly. can't lose that Atlas. Omaqua only has one counter. Yes. There you go. I believe that's the correct play because then you can't get turntabled. Yeah. So Atlas, the game winning Atlas is still in there. I believe he just drew another agenda into HQ. Yeah, another Atlas. Really, another Atlas, so that's on ice. And there's a chance this might look like an NGO front because it hasn't gone anywhere. Yes. I think uh, Roberto would be in such a better position if he just snap scored the hostile and didn't look like it's an NGO. Yes. The fact that he considered it makes it more obvious that there's an agenda mm -hmm. camping in that yeah. remote. He's charging it. That's Maxwell James. Huge card for it, the remote. To, to Corey Dyers, I think Rezing Rashida was v very good on, on Roberto. You see, there's an Atlas here. So, yeah, that's that's kind of a problem. Oh, yeah, right? Two, three, then, four. Oh, man, I gotta change everything here. So, that's a huge swing. And now it's actually really hard to res an archer on this remote server because it's gonna be de resed immediately. Yes. Oh, employee strike off, by the way. Mm -hmm. That was scored in last turn, so he has, oh, to, he has yeah. to decide whether to take a tag and meet damage. We yeah, forgot I think, that. I think meet damage yeah, is... He's just taking the meat for sure. Losing gamble. Yeah. Losing a zero. None of those cards mattered that much. Now, mind you, he did lose a hard-hitting news. I think he lost Econ Warfare and Consulting, so I don't even know if he has the now, punishment. Peter does not have a lot of money. No. He's relying on Maxwell to get him through this. He can't break anything with Almaqua. He has six credits plus, plus three bad pops. Yeah. And while even if Peter spends a lot of money, Roberto can recover with uh, with um, Brian Stinson, I don't think it's going to do enough. Like, it, he doesn't need money, he needs a way to win. And exactly. if that remote falls apart, if he loses more agendas, like, you you don't turn exchange that one. But mm -hmm. Peter's thinking. And the issue is, as soon as he uses his uh, Maxwell James, he has to respect Archer. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he spent any money, so he can actually get through Archer. I think he has nine. No, that's not even enough. It's 12. It's 12 plus, plus two yeah, for the install exactly. for two. Cannot get through Archer. Well, he can, get he can let the trash fire, right? Yes. So maybe he but can do it for then 11. I'm not sure. Yeah. 11, yeah. That's just enough. And then another ice ends the run there. Mm. It looks like we're using Maxwell James. Derez that on encounter. Doesn't get a chance to re res. I'm Go not sure. 
Yes, just another surveyor. Yeah. That's the thing. I think here, Peter is going to want to break, but it's going to bring him real low. Yeah. It's going to depend on what the innermost ice is. If it's a vanilla or an ice wall, Roberto's not going to look I smart. I believe it is an archer. Oh, you think the innermost is an archer? Yeah, that was from I the early game, so. right? Yes. All right. I um, can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it looks like that. It looks like he might actually just be tracing. Yeah, just a trace. So the archer is not going to do that much work. It's going to end the run. It's actually another he got the triple surveyor. Oh boy. Absolutely disgusting. Peter is going to end with two tags, which there is a chance actually he could die to the proper cards in HQ. I think we've only lost one high profile, and I think Roberto is on three. He doesn't also have the money to score in their remote server. But, but Brian. He could. Well, you know, Peter is not going to get back into that remote. We, no. we all know that. But I think Roberto, I don't know if he has an operation to... He lost only some three cards. Hedge funds, right? He has one hedge fund in hand. If he could throw it out, it looks like he doesn't. They're just discovering. Exactly. So it looks like it's click for three credits. No way to punish Peter. If he did have one transaction, that's a transaction to hard hitting these if he has it. Which he does not. Zero. Eat code sleep. Eat code sleep. That's draw five. Hitting that Federal Works gain a credit. Exactly what. So did Peter clear the tags, or he didn't have any money, right? I don't know. Yeah. Ah. No, I'm I don't know sure. what happened. I don't, I don't understand. Does he have two one. tags? I don't believe he does anymore, but I'm not sure. How he got rid of those? Yeah. No idea. He also got rid of his bad pub, on accident. He should on still accident, have that. Yes. Yeah. And that's okay, two so credits that's, that's into good. the gamble. So now, and click then, short. But yeah. at least Brian's online. Mm -hmm. Did he maybe click four, remove tags? No, that doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna keep chugging along. Eco sleep, eco sleep, and that's getting rid of the daily cast. And with only two credits, admittedly he has three bad pubs. It's actually really hard for Peter to run without any way to disable yeah. or disrupt. Sorry, what's an HQ? So I think he's gonna run HQ here. Oh, he cleared with the liberated credits. Oh, he had four right. liberated, okay. so he did four clear clear. I, I, I missed the liberated yeah. on the table. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Roberto's deck is also heavily teched. I think he has three Data Ravens, which is a really strong card. It's hard to deal with. It's exactly in poor strength range for, um, it's now good with Amakua, once that it's a four counters, mm -hmm. but it's actually relatively good against these Xenix as well. And he's threatening that score next turn. There's his bad publicity. It's coming back, running R&D. Roberto just wants to keep three credits on hand. He can spend a I don't know if that is here. a Data Raven. I don't, know I don't if think it is. it is, because that would be a Snap Res, I believe. That's okay. a mouseless. mouseless. That's pretty good. That's an can expensive one to break. He can at least install his program for free if he wants. Yes, if, but if it's, it's going to give a tag and, and a damage and a credit. It's so not too bad at all. Net. Losing the strike. That's okay. If he accesses here, he has to take the, net, uh, the meat damage. He already has a tag. And he's going for the access. Off, off the top, no idea what it is, but it seems fine. Oh, oh yeah, a, Edward Kim hitting yeah, the warfare. warfare. Yeah. That's a good trash. Mind you, I've learned economic warfare, you need to have at least four credits. It's an if able clause. Mm -hmm. Just do a GFI wow. on Roberto's part. I think here. You definitely score that. Yeah, you score the Atlas. And you jam GFI next turn slowly. He's going to have to advance it to five. He has no more audacity tricks. I think he might actually have a preemptive. If he gets a preemptive, he can shuffle audacity. Yes. And then the last Atlas is an option out. This is going to be a rough one. He still has a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. Four is a really clumsy place to get out of, considering all the hostiles are out of the game. Exactly. What's the chance that he slow rolls this and actually puts more counters on the Atlas? Is there you any know what? Benefit? I was thinking about that. I think the turn here is... Stints in the edge fund, mm -hmm. and then put two counters. Yeah. I don't even know what he can accomplish with the big atlas. It's scary, though. He can accomplish... Uh, Stints in for the edge fund. There we go. That's nine credits for one click. Have you met Ted? There's also a fair bit of... I think there's three cards from the clan uh, that... Peter still hasn't checked yet. They're still in archives. He's yeah. in no rush to check them. Ideally, you want to do that with a strike. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he has any strike left. So I think he lost two to damage. One yes, was played through. That's correct. He just lost the last one. Single axis on HQ. We know there's a food in there. Yes. And he did score. Does he have an Atlas on the token? I think he should no, have he just, No, no, he just scored the Atlas. But it was pre-advanced. Yes, so he 
Brian the hedge fund? Oh, and just events. scored the Alice. Yeah. Oh, man. Losing that preemptive Trap, we just yeah. talked about. And he's just tanking through this. Oh, Amakua now breaks it for a free. Yes. That's, that's kind of a problem. Hardening news, though. That's going to land. Yes. I think here... Global food in hand is scary. Probably... He's thinking about this one. If he jams the food, he can get into that remote with just Amakua. Amakua gets to the remote really cheaply. Can it? Yeah, because it's only a six strength ice server. He can yes, make it eight, but, but he can still run HQ, 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 run remote. Yes, but it's but it's still six credits. Yeah, he has right? three bad pub, two credits. He can get away with it. And then he doesn't win. And then he does, he's at zero credits. Yeah, but if he would have hard-hitting news to me, he would have done it right now. And there we go. That is a hard-hitting news. Yeah. So now he has to make the decision whether he's going to clear the tags, which seems really difficult, he's or just keep the pressure up. He's going to keep the pressure up. <laughs> and with the ability of Edward Kim to trash operations... So he's going to actually install... That's Rainwheel. an agenda. That's an agenda. Okay. The winning agenda is an HQ. Mm -hmm. Peter does another. Roberto, another Peter single at the top. That's an economic warfare. That's getting the hammer. Third run. And now trashing the economic warfare, he can't trash the profile target. target. Does he have it? Does he have the HPT? Does Don't he have a counter surveillance? He's, He's just going for the purge. Yeah. That kind of makes sense to me. I think as Roberto, he, he's got an archer on yeah, HQ. Does. So he set up his server so that it's impossible to farm Amqua. Peter is on zero credits. But he can just tank the... It looks the like he's tanking the mouse list, but actually that might just be zero right there. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, just a zero. zero, but he can tank the mouse yeah, list. The mouse list doesn't matter, it's just not damage at this point. And he needs to see the top cards. He needs to trash the high profile target. I think there's, I think there's two more. One. I He's think on there's three HPT, one consultant. Yeah, I think there's only one trashed, right? Yeah. And one consultant with it as well. And trashed. that's the only one that's been trashed. So he's tanking this. That gives Roberto a credit, takes a net damage, and the tags really don't matter. High profile kills. Net dash doesn't matter at this point. No, it does not. Sing off the top, that's an NGO fight. You trash that, go back. Trash it for free. Yeah. And But that, unfortunately, doesn't give him turtle counters, which is something but he wants. Mm, I don't know if he wants that. I think he wants to access... access as many cards uh, as possible, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. At this point, he doesn't want it. turning wheel here. Um, yeah. He can see two cards. Mm, maybe not. He's, gonna, he's just going. And he, the double turning he's, wheel... He's thinking about the turning wheel here. Double turning wheel lets him see a higher cards. chance of seeing the high profile. Exactly. He's thinking about it right now. Yeah. Single card off the top. Another NGO. NGO. Another okay. trashable. He's running out of tag tokens there. Three. If he has an iPad worse than there, it buys him a bit more time running that server. Alright, he's gonna access two cards. Let's go. Hasn't seen an operation. That's a hedge fund. That's gets the trash. That makes it which easier is, for the draw. Really yeah, good that's for good for Roberto. Roberto. And that's a preemptive, okay. which lets him shuffle back both a consulting and a high profile target. That's pretty good. Yeah. Not bad at all. He also wants probably like you put an archer on RD. Mm -hmm. You put an archer on RD. Yeah, I think that's you forfeit right all now. your agendas because you don't score at this point. He has to get the kill. I think he's he, not scoring. Yeah, I think what he has to do is put the archer. Fuck the mausolus. He yeah. can even override the mausolus that what he wants. Yeah. Just put the archer. Credit. Then Preemptive. credit. Exactly. Yeah. You just need to hold on until you get one of your four copies of high profile target. Yes. And we know there's archers everywhere. He does have an MK ultra, mind you. Yeah. Triple venting the mausolus is also Doesn't an option, mean, but it's yeah. breakable. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think that's too much. Time. Exactly. He wants to play the preemptive this turn for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, triple advancing the muscles would do that as well. But I think yeah, preemptive. Get that archer to fire. I think actually, I think he just preemptives two cards, just the consulting visit oh, and just the uh, profile target. Yeah, that's cool. Those are the cards he needs. He doesn't want to get any more density in this deck. Yeah. If he gets the archer up, then he's not even worried. Maybe you want another card just so there's fewer agendas, but I think as soon as, yeah, as soon as he rips one of those off exactly. the top, he's fine. Yeah. Because archer is unbreakable. Yeah, no, he has MK Ultra. It's no, just no, he doesn't no. have the credits. I mean, yeah, Stim he's does never going to have it. Stim even... Hack will do it. Yeah. Oh, he's triple advancing. He okay. doesn't want to play the preemptive. Still two copies of win cards in his deck. Now that does three net damage and the run. Give a tag and the run. Game four credits, I think it is. Let's pull it up, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a very strong sub routine. And it's still like a lot of credits to get through. Yes. If he wants a black orchestra that, which I don't know if he even has oh, availability shit. to. Three net damage, gain three credits, tag, end the run. Very strong sub routines. You can face so, you can give him the damage if you want to just break two, but he doesn't exactly. have the credits to get to that point. So that will prevent Peter getting in probably ever, maybe yeah. with one stim hack. 
No femme fatale, no David. Is he on David? No, I don't think he's on David. I do play David, but I believe Peter doesn't. Okay. Oh, Roberto, I think he's going to preempt this turn. It looks like he's just zeroing and needs to find his answers. Losing the gamble, not a playable card on two credits. Drawing turntable and a dirty laundry, not valuable at this point. Oh man, this is going to be a close game. I think at this point... Could Roberto just jam the food? Is it an archer? I think it's the archer, right? It has to be the archer. Forfeit. I think Roberto could potentially... Yeah, okay. That's the archer. That's the archer. There we go. He could just jam the food. He probably could. <laughs> it's just way too expensive. I think he jams the food if he doesn't top deck it. I, I'm interested to see whether Roberto is more focused at this point in the kill or the agenda points. Agenda points seem so much more difficult. It seems more difficult, but... Because David eats you. What David gets through all the end of runs, and then you let all the tags fire. I don't know if he knows if he's on David or not. This is not open necklace. Yeah, it's not. Does he get the high profile target? No, he got a Raven, a useless card. Three of those in his deck are dead draws. It looks like he's, he's going to go for it. it. A single David gets him in. I don't think there's any other answer in the game. David or bust? Let's think. I believe you're correct. Let's see if we can find it. I mean, I know he's not on David. Oh, are you sure? I, I'm okay. sure he's okay, not Okay, so there's no David. This might actually be fine. But from Roberto's perspective... Yeah, it's still pretty scary. DDoS does something, not enough. Especially for three credits. DDoS as well. Yeah, not so. on DDoS. Um, yeah, this looks okay. There's a price to running two turntables. No Davids. That's true. Those are the slots for that. Divide and Conquer. We don't know what's on archives. In theory, a Divide and Conquer might get through here. I think he's played one. I think he might have two in his deck. And we have a max one HQ if we can get in after mm. Divide and Conquer. Yeah. That still doesn't do enough. Yeah, this is a this is a tough one. I think a Stimhack on R&D, if he has an orchestra in there, might be out, and he's probably on three Stimhack. Mm -hmm. That's generally what people are doing. I think he's counting it. Yeah. <laughs> I think all his Stimhacks are in there. I've yeah, had worse. He, Let's looking, find that Stimhack. I think it could be Stimhack. Maybe on the remote. I think he had a, He drew a Stimhack. Okay. So I don't think it. I don't think it gets him in on the remote. No. So he's just gonna get a turning wheel and then Stimhack R&D. Yes. Yeah. So two more credits for Roberto. Yeah. And then Stimhack R&D. This is his last click. That's, that's a good line. That's this good is the line. play. This is the play. So for nine credits so two cards. and three bed pub and three credits, he's just gonna see two cards. I don't think the math here really matters that much. Oh my god. <laughs> This is what it comes down to. Two so cards. Let's see the sick rip. Oh, is he gonna use the turning wheel? Is he gonna remember? Yeah, there he you go. To, yeah. Peter, what do you got? Okay, That's the HPT he trashed yeah. that. Obviously doesn't matter. Raven. GG. Roberto wow. pulling it out. Good. Whoa, from the clutches of <laughs> the turntable. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. That was a rough one, yeah. Yeah. And if he drew one more time last turn, he he would have won. He exactly. would have got yeah. he would have ripped it off the top. Obviously, but if obviously he does that, he can't score the yeah, food. This is a so result of that. oriented mindset. But oh my god. Yeah. That's a really great game. Nothing in archives too. Also, Peter didn't check that. That was potentially a way out because yeah, he claimed those a long time ago. That's correct. Yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah. Maybe that was an option, but I think the R&D plays better. Well, he knows he can get into R&D, right? Yeah. He doesn't know the eyes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for archives, it's a bit of a mystery. Mm -hmm. That means we have Roberto versus Julien, a rematch. It's Montreal a double Montreal finals. Regionals. It looks like Montreal is going to keep that title. That's pretty good. If you're just tuning in, we're going to have 10 minutes uh, to set up the next round real yeah. quick, and we'll be back. Uh, we got uh, uh, Roberto is coming up from the lower brackets. He is has to win two matches in a row. It looks like no matter what, Valencia is going to be winning this Regionals as opposed to, is it Argus or the and, outfit? And Whalen will win a Regionals, <laughs> another one. Very we'll be good. right. Yeah, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Against uh, Vincent, but like I had like a really out of order set of cards. It was really bad. How did you? How can you lose if you get if you do Three HP.
Watch out. Oh, that's it. No, that, that, that. Oh, it's for the photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Just gonna thank this one. Wait. Musicians. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. No more overeating. No more overeating. No more. Eat. Welcome back. This is the finals for the Montreal 2018 Regional Champions. My name is Andre from the Metropolitan Grid. I'm joined by Vincent. How's it going, dude? Hello. Um, so, the game is just about to start. We're going to restart the timer, but this is finals. It's important to know that Julien is from the winner's bracket, so he has to win one game. Exactly. If um, Roberto wants to win, he has to win, win both against the Corp yeah. and the runner, Julien. And, and we, now he's playing against the runner. I think three games ago we saw uh, the opposite matchup, where Julien like, very confidently rushed out. Uh, so we're going to see the opposite. So Roberto knows. I don't know if they played in the Swiss. I don't think they did. Uh, they did not play in the Swiss. If they did, the ID yeah, yes. round three. Uh, yes, exactly. The ID round three. They were both 4-0 uh, yeah. after round two. Uh, do we have a confirmation of how long the round is in the finals? Is it 65? It's not going to matter in this matchup. How long is the round? You're right. I have to go check. Yeah. I think it's 65. Yeah, For both, right? Yeah. No, each. Each. Each, yeah. Okay. They're pretty long. So we're gonna have a big time around here. 60. It's sixty, it seems, for 60 each. For okay. Each. Okay. Uh, and I really don't think these matchups are gonna matter. Uh, generally, <laughs> they go really fast. It looks like we're off. So we gotta talk really quiet. We're gonna get nice and close here. But mm -hmm. uh, they're both very familiar with this sort of Wayland deck. The Wayland deck that you wanna rush a gen to get those Atlas with counters, and then you punish them with economic warfare, followed by hardening news. Now, Anarchs are playing a lot of hand disruption right now. Clan Vengeance is super hot with zero. And so you can't hold on to those agendas. You can't keep them in hand. Uh, sorry, not agendas. I mean operations. Mm -hmm. So you'll see players play things like Economic Warfare, a card that you sometimes keep for that big upset turn. You're going to keep it in your hand, or actually you're going to play it aggressively if you're worried about the Clan Vengeance. Whenever they run, well, even if you have my, no one punishment. One of my plays uh, this today uh, against Ryan, who was in the top eight. Um, I played in the second round. And he opened the game with two clan vengeance and zero, mm -hmm. making me pretty hard, pretty tough to win. But what I did was I had a, uh, a handful of garbage, but an econ warfare, yeah. and I played an econ warfare to bait out the clan vengeance, and he did oh, trash my super hand. Super cool, yeah. yeah. You play the econ, they worried about the exactly. Yeah. I played the econ. He was pretty low. And Harding news would have been really bad for him and he used one of the Clan Vengeance on basically nothing. No joke, I have seen in the Clan Vengeance meta, I've seen people play hard hitting and use click one. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's the right play. Mm -hmm. You just need to get it. Because if you take two credits... They can they can pop it. Um, it looks like, I'm not sure if we took mulligans here, but we do see uh, Julien's hand there. He has the starting economy. Having a Liberated Accounts turn one is really good. Having a David is also a really big deal, considering this deck is running big surveyors, big archers, big mousalises. Um, so it looks like just a The perfect turn out. one for Roberto. Yeah. Uh, Julian looks like he is on the indexing variant of this, so keeping R&D open sometimes can be an issue. But it looks I like he's going to slow down. Yeah, he just wants to set up a little, mm -hmm. maybe take four and do some, maybe an inject. I know I know he has inject. He has an he's inject. That's going to be a lot of it, cards but in hand. Yeah. Because he only has one click left. I don't know if you want to inject and exactly. discard everything. He's thinking about it. Those gold coins. I think that might be the coins. play. That's an inject. So, four cards off the top. He gets the trash zero. programs to get credits, and it's double zero. You don't need to keep more than one of them. And a career fair, which yeah. is actually a card you don't see that often. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of a lot of lists cut it for yeah. more impactful cards like Turning Wheel, Maxwell, Amaqua. Mm -hmm. So if we can see Roberto's end a bit, he does have another one pointer. Mm -hmm. He does have an econ warfare, an NGO front. That's actually a really solid hand. Yeah. I think he's one piece of ice. It might just be the archer, which is a three of in the deck, I think. I think he just drew an IPO. He can just start slamming stuff. I think he might try to score again. Yeah. So currently Julien is on two bad pub. It might just be three. I, I don't know if Julien plays um I know Julien plays turntable, but if he does, um, you want these hostile out of the game as soon as, as possible. As soon as possible, yeah. Those are the scary cards. Like Rebirth, you gotta play around. You gotta play around turntable for sure. Mm -hmm. Indexing is also a scary card. And they're like, in a 50 card deck of Valencia, it's hard 
to um, it, like you have to play around them, but the chance of them drawing it is not that high. Exactly, but the draw in this deck is, is <laughs> insane. Because you know? we do have the zero. The zero is going to come down, and he has a zero and I have it worse than him. So which makes, and David, which makes me think he's just going to jam the David, which yes. is going to ruin the element of surprise. So, but it's fine. But it's fine because you can't lose that to the zero yeah. damage. And if he hits I have it worse, that's a credit five cards for a click. Yes, seems pretty nuts. Off the top, that's a Hortum. I don't even know if jamming NGO friend is good. Is it here is good. It's probably good to get the David counters used if he has to run through an archer. But getting eight credits actually, here doesn't do anything. Yeah, I would. I think I would have maybe drawn. Yeah. I think I would have drawn to see if I can can get an Atlas. I like any agenda here. Yeah, exactly. Um, before doing what Robert just did. So that's zero. It's gonna fire. It's gonna do damage. We've been seeing this card all day. There's a very good reason. It is almost in every anarch deck. It's in every anarch and deck, right? It, it, yeah, and it just got the Avid Worst, making it one click to draw five cards, which yeah. is absolutely insane. Um, so a new hand. That's another Avid Worst. He's drawing for his answers. He's pretty sure. It he's looks look, like he thinks that this might he's be. He's looking for the. Uh, he's looking for the the breakers. Yeah. This is what you need. Yeah, overdrawing here just to be able to throw breakers out at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. Very strong. We have a lightning storm going on right now. Hopefully. <laughs> Our volume is louder than the rain outside. And a handful of good stuff. His econ is actually Lots coming together. Yeah. yeah. There's not a lot it's that we're pretty hard to hard even use this guy. And interestingly enough, if that was an Atlas, that is an Atlas with a token. Mm -hmm. But it's not. I don't think it is. Building the remote server, that almost definitely tells us it's not an Atlas unless he advances again and leaves it. Mm -hmm. There's no way you would refuse an Atlas with a single counter. That's double in a credit. It looks like the slow roll. I think that play is actually probably a bit too slow. Yeah. Another inject coming out. Four more cards off the top. Paperclip, gain a credit in the bin. Let's go. And turning wheel. Turning and wheel there and, and the engines. There, there we go. He knows he did the inject before the zero, which is perfect. So now he can get that climb engines down and then start accruing those tokens. Roberto is now on the clock. Exactly. You see the lightning splashing across. That's, that's a loud thunder. Yeah, that's a bit loud. Let's see if we can hold on it's here. Very loud thunder. Julian, a handful of cards. He could keep drawing here. I think if he has an iPad worse in hand, it's a really bad thing to draw five. I don't think he has an iPad worse. He's yeah. already used two. Oh, he's probably. used two. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And the turning wheel also. That's yeah, a good you win. You don't want to lose this oh. this card. I think he's gonna zero. Yeah. Zero. Last click. So he doesn't really need the draw. He just wants those clan vengeance exactly. counters. Exactly. Clan Vengeance counters are actually so good that in a lot of games you could stay back basically anything just to get Mad Dash and Ice Wall. Exactly. Well. Yeah. well, I mean, we saw it before. Before Zero was a thing, there was a French deck based yeah. on Clan Vengeance that would Mad Dash anything, archives, to get just to get the damage. Yeah, it's definitely strong. Um, you also saw Roberto drew the Rashida. Rashida Yahim is kind of a hard card to play. I think here you reveal the NGO. Yeah, yes. and he's jamming another card. I think it's actually Rashid in the remote yes. server. I don't even know. An unadvanced card in a remote server where you need to contest that, because an archer without uh, over-advancements doesn't seem that rough. No. That if they're going to spend two turns and three credits on it, you're generally okay with it. Yeah, I think at this point it's not really worth... No. I think if you're worried about that's Rashida, you want to get those Clan Vengeance counters as soon as possible. It's a rebirth, it looks like very strong. have a rebirth. Do you think it's Omar or do you think it's Kim? I think it's going to be Omar. Yeah? Yeah. So rebirth because Clan Vengeance does the Kim. Yeah, right? it does. So here he sees a That's a food See? off the top. That's a restricted card. No under seeker here. That's gonna put him up on two points. And he's gonna take two meat damage. That just further powers up the Clan exactly. Vengeance. Exactly. Another counter on Clan Another Vengeance. Another counter better. So Argus's ability working against itself, and yeah. that's what I noticed today when I played against Argus. Argus is that most Anarchs are absolutely fine with taking some. They're meat excited. Damage. Yeah. And that's a really big deal why you see the outfit replacing a lot of Argus decks. They're the same sort of archetype. Uh, we're getting access on HQ. I don't think there's anything of value in there. No. Uh, the Audacity, though, but that's the Audacity that's is it is a good thing to see. Yeah. You know that changes that you might want to more more liberally so use. So he's going to zero. Vengeance. Yeah. Power up the Clan Vengeance. That's what you want to do. And do you Rashida into Triple Clan Vengeance? I think you have to. When are you going to do it? Yeah. He's got an Ostol in there. He does, yeah. He has not scored the Ostol for quite some time. And you want to get that as soon as the turntable comes down. That's a huge liability. Mm -hmm. But Roberto might know if... I don't know if that's the audacity, that. No, I just score it. I just install advance. 
He has uh, David's. Oh, oh yeah, I know. I think, it's I not, think it's you have to just audacity it. Yeah, I think so. You're gonna lose your hand anyways. Mm -hmm. The problem is that if you install it naked and advance it, like you audacity before you advance it. If you install it naked, do they trash their hand? Is there a way from Roberto to install it and send the hard eating news? Um, so he hands on like a lot of credits. Yes, but what I mean 16. is that. Yeah. Oh, he's just scoring okay. hostile. Okay, that's respectable. But I think what he what he might want to do is that because he's on a lot of credits, but I think Roberto can match at the moment yeah. and force Julien to clear tags for a turn. Do you know what? That Ice Carver... Is that going to be a problem for David? No. Everything's at far above 5 strength. Mm, yes. That's fine. Black Orchestra in the bin. Mouseless maybe? But yeah, it just makes Mouseless harder to do. You're not going to really yeah, You don't generally use David mouseless. that one. So oh, yeah. it looks like it's a Rashida. That's a double climb engine. He needs to dump those cards from hand. I think you Audacity. Yeah. I think, I, I think you're right. Omar? Getting an access on R&D off the top. That's an operation. Turning it's building up. And without so another agenda in hand, here, it's this so is much 100%, easier. I think here this 100% an Audacity turn. Because you know this is going down like maybe next two to three turns. Do you install it most. over the Rashida? But that, I think you might. Because if you install naked into the remote, it's super suspicious. And mm -hmm. he knows No, 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 I, I think you do install over the Rashida. Yeah. But... Hmm. Because I think, I think Roberto is thinking about install in yeah, RDD News, yeah, right? Yeah, you could. You could pause for a bit here. See? It looks like oh, he's, not. he's not. He's throwing out his whole hand. That is four points for Roberto. He's threatening a, f a win off of the Global Food Initiative, a hard agenda to score. Yes. And now they're trying to figure out whether Roberto waited long enough to yes. allow the clan vengeance to fire. Exactly. And that is pretty awkward for sure. Or maybe they're just worrying about how many credits he played. He should be paying one credit for that. Yeah. First click hard hitting news, yeah. Well, that's the thing I can do. And here, Roberto Audacity before. The advance, yeah, you always do that. So install, then you Audacity, so that they can't disrupt you. I, you I have to wait. I think second. Roberto waited. I think he waited very, long enough, yeah. Very good amount of time. Yeah, that is one of the awkwardness here. Is that you have to wait, but you don't want to make it obvious but that you're waiting. Yeah, because Julien did see mm -hmm. the Audacity. So. He knew it was in there. Exactly. <laughs> Now, that's a big issue. As soon as you have no hand size, anything you draw, you have to jam straight into that remote, mm -hmm. or you can lose immediately off the draw. Yep. Oh, not getting this. This is an Atlas. You trade that for their Atlas, of course. Uh, losing two cards for the meat damage, that's two more clan vengeance counters. He's in a really bad spot. Julian on four points, four to four. This is looking good for... And now he found the turntable. Yeah, there was a turntable. Not going to do that much work. Only one more one-pointer no. in the deck. He's going to trash it, actually. Yeah. Just needs to keep going more tokens. And as soon as he draws, he can spend that one with three counters on it just to melt the card. I think, I think so. you wait for him to draw once more. Mm -hmm. Rashida can't be fired for the rest of this game safely. And that's an indexing with no Atlas tokens. That's something he's planning next turn for sure. And you don't have to worry about hard news or economic warfare. And here we hit the point where every card you draw, you have to wait for an action before you do anything else. Exactly. So here, Roberto installs, takes two. Mm -hmm. This is in the hot field battle. I don't think Roberto can no, make it Roberto out of this. No, Roberto probably can't make it out of this. I think mm -hmm. it's just index and click one. Let's go. He's Omar. Right Omar. That's a mouseless. You don't want to break that for sure. You don't want to lose the net damage and lose your indexing. That one's actually really... It's, it oh, is expensive. six to break now because of the ice the, carver. Yeah, the ice carver. Which, with three bad pub, that's totally reasonable. You have to yeah. still install the black orchestra for, for three. Can't David it. So that's installed for free. Then you're gonna pay six no matter what. Breaks mm -hmm. all the subroutines. Single axe off the top of R and D. If you can use turning wheel, it looks like that is. Uh, he does did not have the. He found the last one point and didn't have the turntable. I don't think it's gonna matter. No. Because he still has to steal another agenda. But it never feels good. You could just index in here. You can get through Archer. I don't think he's gonna do it. I don't know why not. I don't know. Oh, he's drawing up. Totally safe. And you know what? As soon as Roberto draws a card, he can go and trash it. Even then, I think it's fine. I think he's just jam indexing. Mind you, Julien is on the winner's side. Oh, yeah. A tag or meat damage. What happened? Mm -hmm. It had to be a tag. But he drew twice. Yeah. Oh, that's a real hard. Wait. Oh. People are forgetting Argus ability. Yep. Trashing two cards. Mm hmm. 
I don't think the single tag is going to matter. Let's try the turning wheel, but it looks like that's not how he's going to win. First click or second click draw. <laughs> right up That's the top. Good. It's a shuffle three back. It's gonna bring like the hard hitting news. Roberto does have an out here mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, when it comes to hard hitting news. Like that still is an option. He is running wild. Yeah, he is running wild. He feels it. He tastes it. But I think an indexing here. There's no one piece of ice he can't get through. I think Data Raven's probably the most clumsy. Yeah. And mind you, yeah, Julian is the winner's brackets. He just needs to close this game out to exactly. take home the regional title. That trophy is sitting right underneath uh, our overlay. Preemptive, he's having a bit of decision here, even if he doesn't take things that are important. Oh, it looks like he might have spent two credits to, to clear the tag, actually. I'm not sure. And he's shuffling in three cards. I didn't catch exactly what that was. Yeah, it looks like he removed the tag. He, that's what Chad's saying, at least. So I don't know what those cards are that are going back in. But that dilutes the agenda density, too, so that indexing technically is I would imagine better. there's... One hard hitting news in there. Yeah, but yeah, hundred percent. He lost hard hitting news. No, no, no. But I, I would imagine that he would. He brought it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And so click to indexing. Index here. He has a lot of credits, a lot of bad pub. It's just a hortum. He breaks through that for free. So it's free. There's no reason to res that. That's gonna be a problem. I, I think, think you might want to threaten that. And it looks like that yeah. is our regional winner right. off the top. Julian just won the Julian regional. Julian takes it. Decidedly, that's a rough one. Absolutely yeah. taking Clan apart Vengeance, that yeah. deck. Yeah, Clan Vengeance is a hell of a card. I don't think it's anyone surprised by that. No, uh, but it's just the index things, all of that. Oh man, amazing! Yeah, amazing. And if Roberto did come back, he still had to play the other side. Yes. Yeah, I, I do like the outfit. I think a bit more than Argus right now. Uh, I think I that agree. made damage is too much of a liability. Yes, I agree. I like the outfit better. Uh, uh, I played the outfit today. It was yeah. it was good. You get a lot of kills more than fast events, or people respect it? Zero kills. Okay. Uh, I only got rushed. I got rushed people. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, rushed people. Rush. You gotta rush people, and they respect your kill, and that slows them down yeah. enough. Oh man. And you know, I played against all Vals with Clan Vengeance, yeah. so you can't really guarantee kills against these decks. No, that's pretty that might be the problem. Yep. And there we have the trophy. I don't think we're going to see on camera just yet. We're going to try and grab a, an interview with you yet mm -hmm. after this, and probably Roberto, too, just to yeah. see what's up. Those guys are good friends, too. So, we'll so try the originals them, from Montreal goes to Montreal. Yeah, we kept it. We had two yeah. in the top cut. They were both the finalists. Exactly. A lot of people from it. Toronto in the top cut. Yeah, a lot. I think half the cut was from Toronto. That's correct. Yeah, a very strong showing. Yeah. And two people from Ottawa, I believe. I think that's right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was our regional. Thanks so much for dropping by, or if you're watching the VOD. What's up? How's it going? Um, Clan Vengeance, been slotting a cheeky Malia. Yeah, there's some ways uh, to blank. Actually, Malia doesn't work, because it's, no, it's it not virtual. Work. It works. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it works. works. I have played against uh, someone playing Gagarin with a Malia. Mm -hmm. um, let me tell you, it was not enough. There's three Clan Vengeance in that day. <laughs> there's that one. one Whalen upgrade that says if they trash a card on the server, you take a tag. You yeah. just put that on HQ. Hope they don't understand Hope. how it works. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> take five <laughs> tags. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to try and grab an interview uh, yeah, real quick with Julian if you can jump in. Let's see if we can find him. And we can now talk loudly, which is weird because I'm not used to it. Give us one second. We're going to get hold of Julian. We'll find him. I don't have good stats looking at what was represented today. Be loud, yeah, right? Uh, of what was represented today. But in the top cut, I think we had every faction represented. Uh, yeah, definitely every faction was represented. Maybe there was an NBN. Was there NBN in the top eight? No. There's no NBN in the top eight. There's two NBN total in the tournament. Oh, really? Two NBN out of 24 or 25? It's me and Remy. Oh, it's you and Remy. <laughs> That's wild, but almost everything else was there. Uh, we saw some Leela's. Uh, there was the one criminal I think we had in the top cut, but a lot of Valencia. Valencia is still good. Some Max. Max is obviously still good. A lot of Whalen. We saw some CI. We saw CI do five point combos on the stream. Went pretty fast. Kyle, Peter, Sungo, and John from Toronto. Ryan and Hanny from Ottawa. Excellent. Um, let's see if we can get hold of Julian for a real quick interview. Give us one second. Yeah, because the bail doesn't work for Wargs, we understand. It's just for National Review Check.
international <laughs> nerds like you guys. Right, like Julian, do you want to like do a quick interview on the camera? Like international <laughs> on the stream? Where doing doing grab? Do you want to talk about your deck? What can we do? Oh yes, uh, just next 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 next. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, I can if you want. Uh, <laughs> if you want to. The Brits did not allow you to go against home. Are you going to work? Oh uh, yes, he's coming with us. Oh, you had a ticket already. Yeah. 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 Joshua, please. Uh, I, I, please please don't you guys. I don't really need that. Yeah, I know. But you, I don't know if you can give it to someone. What? I don't know if you can give it to someone. I don't know. Yeah, you might have to figure it out. Yeah, we could have like a charity. Good. Uh, we buy tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
I remember back in the days playing that same shell where everyone was playing triple scarcity was a huge issue. Was it a thing today? It looks like you can still just jam your liberators to be fine. Uh, yeah, so any, uh, no scarcity. Any yeah, none of these Argus decks are running currents. They just no. it's hard because you can't keep them out of essentials. Well, hey, congrats. Thanks so much for dropping yeah, by. Thanks. Um, we got a statue over there somewhere, right? Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, even if you throw it because this camera's on. If you want to just put it on the table, we'll look at it. Bro, do you want to talk for a minute? Oh. You want to come in? Yeah, I can try. <laughs> can try. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is Roberto. How's it going? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm happy. I'm, uh, I'm, still, I'm happy for Julien. So yeah, right? I'm fine. Uh, double Montreal. That is the, the statue, by the way. It's That's a Cabanessa nice. in front of it. I think it's a Doppelganger, right? Yeah, I think it's Doppelganger. Who knows? They just know. put two cards together, it looks like. Um, can you talk a bit about your day? You were playing very similar decks. You were playing Valencia. Uh, yeah, I was playing like Regas Val with the, the, the package, the Convengeance package, of course, mm -hmm. two indexing. Uh, and then I was playing Argus, but slight variation. I was playing yeah. Argus with uh, three uh, Data Riven, okay. um, which is really good for rushing, which was my plan. And it worked most of the day, except against Julien. Do you put that on remote, so that's a centralized? Remote. Okay. Remote, because central, they can like farm turning wheel. Yeah, you want to punish outside ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But still, I've, I've used it like for archives, stuff like that. But most okay. of the time, it went on the remote. Cool. And triple surveyor, some archers in there. Of course. Yeah, two archer. You don't play berries, you play vanilla, that's it. Uh, two vanilla. Yeah, berries. Yeah, don't two matter. archers. I, I remove one archer because I'm not running the uh, two and uh, agenda. The um, Standoff, yeah. Standoff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I drop one archer for that. And three HPT and Arding, of course. And Super good. Two, two preemptive. Yeah, that's clutch. We've seen many times on the stream where you get your cards, your combo cards moved. It's a bit of a slow card, but you see it, you top deck the preemptive. Let's yeah, go. yeah, and it's good like for getting uh, stuff to put inside your remote, you know, to, uh, to yeah. bait the runner. Yeah. yeah, and you have more baits than the outfit, right? Because you do have the... Yeah. And yeah. it's really hard to play Rashida when people are playing Clan Vengeance. That isn't an easy card to play Yeah, I anymore. think I trigger it maybe twice. Yeah, you, know, you throw some of those like out. You're like, this is not yeah, good yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in our last game also, I had to throw one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Clan Vengeance. What can you do? Um, <laughs> I think this, I don't know if it's an ongoing joke. Is this your second, second finish? Second, second place in two years. Yeah. In two years. I'm, I'm the second best player in Montreal. Who won last year? Uh, Vincent. Vincent oh, won. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, yeah, at least I, br I brought Vincent to the second game, but not well, that time. You might be the most consistent, consistent second place, second that's, best player that's in Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> that's worth something. That's okay, I'll take that. Yeah, okay, well, congrats on the finish. Thank huh? you very much. <laughs> Um, that's it for the stream. I gotta say a bunch of shout outs and a bunch of thank yous. Uh, firstly, Julien at BD Cosmos, we're at Laval. Thanks for having us, man. Ah! Um, otherwise, gotta thank for these out. Uh, um, we have these overlays that we're using today for the first time. Shout outs to both VTT Vila and Dodge Bong, who have these up. Um, we put these together last night. Great time. Also, huge shout outs to Marc Andre, who drove down there because I don't have a car. I had to move a desktop. Thanks so much for watching. On YouTube, we're gonna, I have these recorded. Did I record that final game? I think I have some of these recorded. Um, so we're going to try and put them up on YouTube. I Maybe we'll do re-commentary again where we can talk louder and have a bit more uh, a bit more comfort. I spent some time pulling up some of those cards. But thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday. we got a live stream for you. And otherwise, if you're playing in other regionals tonight, I don't know if regionals happens on Sunday. Uh, good luck. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao. Oh yeah, also sorry the stream kept going out, that was weird.